So six players left standing in the European the Darts finale. Open. The Michael Van Gerwen meeting Frey. Kim Hybrex in the first semi-final later this evening. Let's have a look at the bottom half of the draw. James Wade against Vincent van der Voort on stage. Two players who have had success on the European circuit fairly recently. James Wade winning in Gibraltar 2014. And also last year, Vincent van der Voort winning the Austrian Darts Championship. One of these two could add to their tally. Wade and van der Voort both in good spirits. Wade, though, given a bit of a workout by Mark Webster earlier today, but van der Voort a more emphatic winner over Justin Pipe. Rod Harrington in the chair for this one. Difficult one to call, I suppose, in many ways. Yeah, I think so, because it, it's such a contrast in game. I mean, you've got Vincent, who's, you know, rat a tat tat very quick. If he starts to find the treble on his first start, he's very hard to hold on the scoring. Against James Wade, who's, who's you know, we keep saying as solid as it is, that machine-like throw. And um, I just think of the, the last two legs that he threw, you know, 12 and 13, 12 to break the throw, 13 to hold the throw and win the game. And that last 16... Um, just kind of gives him the edge coming into this, I think. Mm. Yeah, there was never more than a leg in that match between Wade and Webster until the final leg. Wade with checkouts of 138 and 121. He had just two 180s, but you'd expect that of James Wade anyway. James to throw first. Game on. His 138 checkout really caught the eye. 100. And Wade getting us underway with a ton. He was a quarter-finalist in this tournament last year. Looking to go one better. 58. Or at least one better, I should say. 58. Well, a sluggish start for Wade. 96. Well, that looks a better dart from Wade. He's not a, a 180 merchant, more of a 140 man is James Wade, but he gets the job done. Well, this man, man the vault, is a 180 machine. 100. Yeah, he's only lost three legs this weekend so far, Vincent. 6-2 against Roby John Rodriguez and 6-1 against Pipe. He was always on top against Justin Pipe earlier today. He led 4-0 at one stage. Had a good checkout of 1-2-7 on the way there. Pipe did pull one back, but by then the damage had been done. Yes, Justin could, just couldn't get any consistent scoring against him, could he? I mean, it was one good score, one bad score. And when you had Vincent going up uh, pretty consistent on the scoring, then it was always going to be Vincent's game. 99 mentioned it in commentary yesterday as well Vincent hasn't really done it on the European circuit this year he had uh, a run to the quarterfinals in the German darts championship at Hildesheim in February lost 6-4 uh, to AD Lewis in the last eight so he's matched that achievement by reaching the last eight here but he's capable of so much better and he's Vincent, you require 102. delivering the Vincent van der Voort that we know and love well, double 16 to break the throw. 86. Well, James see what he thought of that. 11. A long way off, so now three for double four. Seven score. Well, my eyes deceived me there. I thought that I'd actually snuck into the uh, double four bed, but wasn't to be. First leg. And Vincent does break. He was absolutely Vincent exemplary with his doubles in that win Game over on. Roby John Rodriguez, by the way, yesterday after a 1 1 6 checkout in the opener. He didn't miss another double until the penultimate leg of the match, but needed a few attempts there to get double eight. But he's off the mark, and that's all that matters. Yeah, not an electrifying first leg, we have to say. Wow, right on, folks. He still puts a win on the board for. Yeah, his best visit there was uh, 100. One 
100. These two do have recent history on the European Tour as well. They met in Gibraltar in the third round. Wade won it 6-2. Difficult to read too much into that, though. Yeah, Wade went on to win that, didn't he? That was uh, the first tournament he won after being left out of the uh, Premier League. And uh, a lot of people said it proved the PDC wrong. 100. wrong. It actually proved the PDC right to mm. have left him out. And I think his health was more the issue to look after than you know, an extra bit of money. 100. And, uh, it's require 100 I think it's proven that it was right. He's come back. He was in the Premier League this year. And he wants the bullseye. Oh, and you can see that move, the bullseye. Didn't have to go for it. I have to say, James Wade, a bit out of sorts 96. at the moment. It's going to require 25. Yeah, he's done this before this year, I've noticed as well. He's had good wins, big wins, and then he's not been able to back it up just when it looks as though he's building 29. up ahead of steam. James will require one. Outside chance for Wade here to break back, but he's up against it. 1 4 5 needed. Well, he won't do it now. Well, he certainly weren't going to go the Alan Norris route on the 15th. <laughs> I've got to have a, ask Alan why it's he does that. I mean, to find out. I just don't understand it. Well, as I said, personal preference. I just want to know why he does it. Game shot. Van der Hort makes it two it's legs to nil. Third leg, James, the through first. Well, an improvement in that it was a 16 dart leg for uh, Van der Voort. 58. Well, this is where Van der Voort has got to really start to push on because with Wadey playing like this, 100. Make hay while the sun shines, as they say. Just needs a settler of sorts, doesn't he, Wade? Just a, a big score to get him going. A, a leg on the board as well. 100. Just can't really get his first dart right, although that was a, a better first dart. As you can see from there, he can get the trebles, but a lot of them have been low. Well, the average is certainly nothing to write home about at the moment. Both uh, players averaging around 80. That 140 for Wade has just seen him creep up to 83. That's better scoring from Wade. Two one forties on the trot. He'll get at least one dart and a double. And now it's going to be six. Forty-five from here. James requires. Should be looking at the treble thirteen. That's exactly what he's done. Double twelve. Game show in the third Two one forties and a sixty-three kill in two. Suggests that James Game Wade on. has woken up. Well, he may have woken up, but Vincent van der Voort trying to put him back to sleep where with a 180. First of the match. Just a, a gentle reminder there from van der Voort that he's still around and he still leads by two legs to one and he has that break, of course. 93. Yeah, James is having a trouble with his first dart. He's not getting up high enough, and he's having to pitch over the flight of that first dart. 16. As you can see, he's actually pushing those two darts to just get a little bit more extra height on them. He just needs to lengthen the arm on the first dart just to get it up above 83. the treble. Because he isn't one that switches too often. And again, we see it low. It's going to require 145. So Van der Voort, favourite to take the fourth leg and re-establish his two-leg cushion. 50. Better first start this time from Wade. 100. But this unable to get down to a finish, unable to back it up. Oh, 
Well, that leaves tops. So that's nicely done from Van der Voort. Just sets it up. No need to panic with Wade on 181. One hundred. It's going to require forty. Game shot on the full flag. It's Vital Vandervoort. third dart for Van der Voort. And he goes into a two leg lead at three legs to one. If he'd have missed that. I expected James Wade to fill that up. It looked so inviting for a third. Indeed, yeah. Wade was uh, just waiting there, wasn't he? Thinking that he might be given another chance by Van der Voort, but eventually he found the double ten. Van der Voort straight into the triple one again. 23. Well, these are better first darts now from Wade, but he's backed it up with a five. So he'll head south. That's pitched awkwardly. And he's done well there to find the treble 19. So... Wade making the most of the advantage of throwing first in this fifth leg. But Van der Voort is pushing him all the way. Puts Van der Voort in a good position. James Wade is not going to take this out, so Van der Voort's going to come back and attempt the 104 for another break of throw. He set it up beautifully. Well, the first dart killed it. There for Vincent, double 12 again here for Wade. Hmm. He Anxious. Mind, yeah, he shouldn't mind the double six, just above the double Game ten. On the fifth leg. James Wade, six leg and he doesn't mind it at all. First. Two, three. The thing about the, these sort of games, when you get like James Wade is not on form and Vincent's not made you pay for it, all of a sudden they tend to sneak one back here and there, and then all of a sudden, like James did a bit against Mark Webster. All of a sudden, the last two legs, he absolutely flew in. Well, they absolutely flew in as well for James Wade. First maximum of the match for him. And it's against the uh, Van der Voort throw as well. So, chance here for Wade to start thinking about the opportunity to break back at least. I don't understand why James doesn't switch more well, often. Because he's, you know, when he's switching, he's hitting the treble 19. Yeah. But he's one of the players that would rather move left or right. A bit like Mervyn King, Ronnie Baxter. They don't tend to move away from the treble 20. Well, Van der Voort's not well, moving away from it either. And that's the third of the match. Still advantage to Wade, though. Certainly now. Oh, and he's found the treble nine as well, so that sets it up beautifully for Wade. This is more like it. High quality sixth leg here. 58 required for Van der Voort here. Oh, he's found a four. That was a slip up. Well, we've not had any nines, but this would be a ten. And that's quite an exceptional leg to break the throw. Of Van der Voort and get himself back in this game. And like I said, you know, he, the first three legs, four legs really, James Wade was doing nothing. But Vincent didn't punish him enough. Should have been at least one more leg up on him. Yeah. And now you just feel that Wade's back in the game and he certainly knows how to grind the result out. And Vincent's going to have to find some exceptional darts, you feel now. Well, that'll do. But Wade will feel he's more than in contention now. Another 140 for him. That's his uh, fifth 140 of the match as well. He made the point earlier, Rod, about Wade not being a 180 player, but he does rack up the 140s. And he's starting to keep them ticking over as well now. Oh, that's a bad miss, though. Vincent may get nine from here if he's lucky. 
Is it without a treble? It's not going to help. So James Wade. Well, we talked about 140s from Wade. Previous leg, he set the shot up and left double top after nine darts. It's going to leave double top after 12 darts. And we talked about runs that certain pros get on, and he did it against Mark Webb for the last two legs of that match. And all of a sudden, Wade now, the last two legs, has really started to push on. Well, he'll need to push on and finish off here because that's an 80 from Van der Voort has left him with double 11, but Wade for a 4-3 lead. He's completed the turnaround. He was 3-1 down. But it's a 13-dart leg to go with a 10-dart leg that he produced in leg six. 44. And this is now a, a typical, well, barring that 58, it's a typical James Wade performance. 121. Yes, he just, he knows how to get over the line when he's not playing exceptional. 140. Well, that should have been a 180. Plenty of room to the left, but... As we said, not much of a 180 merchant, more of a 140. 140. Yeah, Van der Voort. Matching Wade there. And again, the treble 19. Very, very effective from Wade. 133. That leaves the 170. That's why he went for the 19s. Well, Vincent hit a 180 in the previous leg that didn't be used. Well, he's hit a 180 this time that is going to be used. Fourth of the match for Vincent van der Voort. Well, I say it is going to be used. Or is that the guy in the treble? And he finds the ball for good measure anyway, so he's left himself topped, but he might not get a chance at it with van der Voort on double eight for a four-all scoreline. Double four to level things up. Chasing around the board, double two. Wade has been given a huge, James huge helping hand 40. here. Well, after 12 darts, he requires double top again. This time he's missed it. Now the double 10 doesn't miss James this very often. That's 10, James 13, 14, the last three Nine legs for James, James Wade. And it puts him on. one leg away from a semi-final place and he steps up with the throw. And as I said, Really, Vincent didn't punish him for the slow start that James Wade had. That's the uh, seventh 140 plus the one three ones that he's had as well. Van der Voort goes toe to toe. Well, we said that James Wade could be a good bet for the 180s because he only had to hit two to... It was 1.5 for James. And he should have easily cleaned that up. 93. Well, here we have it. The 11 one, three, one pluses. That's where he makes his money. 100. So Wade down to a finish first, as you'd expect, perhaps, given he had the advantage of throwing first in this ninth leg. Vincent's not done yet, though. 98. James require 121. Well, if you was going to put your money on someone to take a shot out like this, James Wade would be one of the top three in the world to mm. do exactly that. Went for the treble 11 to leave double 12. Not to be, but uh, he's still in a good position 96. looking for the ball. Vincent require 170. Part one accomplished. Not part two. 105. James will require 25. Five for his favourite, double 10. James Wade for a place in the semi finals of the European Darts Game Open, shot. and he takes and out the double 10. James Wade. James Wade, the number two seed, is through. He was a hard workout for him, though. He was 3 1 down at one stage, but he reeled off the next five legs. And Van der Voort simply had no answer. A 10-dart leg, the highlight in leg six. That really gave Wade a huge amount of belief. That was the crucial first break. Missed darts.